G'day guys, it's Jake here. Today I'm going to be running you through how to make a Kali Linux uh, Raspberry Pi box. So basically you can run Kali Linux on your Raspberry Pi. This can be quite useful for if you want to just plug in somewhere and be able to do network assessments. Um, I've been playing around a bit with it so yeah anyway like and subscribe to the video to see more because I'll be making more stuff like this but anyway so basically what you want to do first is you want to get the image for your Raspberry Pi and you can just download it with a torrent by clicking here it'll download the little torrent open it and I've already downloaded it so you can see here uh, there it is and it's finished finished downloading that is so the next thing you're going to want is this uh, Balina Etcher which you can just download and install I've already got it installed here and then we go flash from a file and you want to find the uh, image that you just downloaded so here it is and if we hit OK on that select the target which you will need a little uh, a little micro SD card or SD card depending which type you're using. I am using a micro SD card with a little adapter. Tick yes and select and then flash it. Hit yes for this. And now it will go through and start writing your Kali image uh, to the SD card. So there we go, now we've got our SD card flashed. What we can do is just put it in. Then we just fire it up by plugging in our power cord. Now we can see our Kali Linux file booting up. And what I'll do is plug in my keyboard and mouse. So here we go. So now the username should be Carly and the password should be Carly. And now you can see it all loading up. So from here, what I can do is connect to my network because I don't have an Ethernet port here. I'm going to connect to Wi Fi. My Raspberry Pi has Wi Fi. And once it's connected to the network, what I'm going to do is get the IP address of it, which I can open up a terminal window here. And I'll make it bigger for you. So now if I go sudo ifconfig, it will ask me for the password. And I should be able to in here see my IP address which there we go it's given me 192.168.100.41 so now if I flick back over to the other screen what we're going to do is SSH into it and do the rest via command line so what we want to do is open up SS an SSH terminal which we have putty and we're going to go And it's going to say that there's a potential security breach. The server does not match the one party Putty has. And we're going to say yes. So we're going to log in as Carly. And the password is Carly. So there we go. Now we have SSH in. If you had a wired connection, you can do the same thing. Or you don't even need to view anything. What you can do is just do a network scan and find it on the network. Because it will get an IP address from DHCP. So now we're in... Carly. I'm just going to minimize all of this stuff. And we'll get our putty session back going. So from here we can do this again. So there we go, we can list our network adapters. So we've got the whole Carly session here. So one of the first things I recommend doing is changing your password 
which you can just type in pass wd. It will ask you for your current password. And put in your new password. And there we go. So now we've got a new password. What we can do here is exit out of that and log in again with Huddy. And it'll be Carly and the new password that's been specified. And it will help if you type it in correctly. So there we go, now we've got Carly, we've got a terminal session, so we can run tools like nmap. You can see nmaps there. You can run the whole Carly toolkit um, I do recommend changing the password straight away. Anyway, guys, don't forget, like and subscribe to see more, and there will be more Kali Linux videos coming up as time goes on, and I'll see you soon.